This lesson is a continuation of part one of the same title, with some more about choosing the right ending for those adjectives ending in ing or ed. Let's take a look at another example, this time someone's blog. Here is the first half. Look out for the ED and ING endings. See how the pattern appears. And remember, ED equals effect. Be careful not to include those progressive verbs like I was watching. There are no mistakes here. I want you to notice how the ED endings explain about results or effect and the ING endings describe causes. Pause and read, and then do the same with the next slide. And here's the rest. Of course, once again, words such as cooking, showing, frying, and hosting are not of the adjective type we are looking for. Here is an exercise for you to complete. Suggested answers could be I would be delighted or excited for the first one. Maybe embarrassed for the second one. And probably moved or impressed in the third case. Most importantly, they should all end in ED, as the comments are about effects. Okay. This one should be quick and easy. You can keep the answers to yourself. I think in each case you would feel disgusted, excited and charmed. Now the final exercise. This is a conversation between two students. Okay, here's the first half of the conversation. Please pause the video and look through once to catch the meaning. Then, please notice and look out for all the mistakes in the adjectives and correct them. And here's the rest of the conversation. You should have noticed that all cases were wrong. Every ING should have been an ED, and every ED should have been an ING. Now, if you got that right, you should be pretty confident that you are ready to communicate. Thanks. That's it. Any comments, especially about anything that may be unclear or mistakes in the presentation, please let me know. And some more lessons will be coming out soon. So if you like this stuff, why not subscribe?